All right, uh, Shalom. All right, first off, we want to give all praise to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, uh, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, Baha Shem Ha Rakah Kadash. Um, we're just gonna get to a lesson about uh this upcoming New Year's. Here it is. We already passed uh Christmas, and there's already a lot of judgment happening then, and there's gonna be some more judgment on New Year's. So um, we just gonna get right to it. Um, could a brother pull uh, Jeremiah chapter ten? Because uh, it's another, this is another stronghold that people have, man. Celebrating New Year's, thinking that the New Year is in the um, middle of the winter or beginning of winter. All right, it's another uh, pagan holiday that our people are into, and, and wonder why Jake gets smoked down uh, like uh, Oscar Grant back in 2007, man. No <laughs> wonder why Jake gets smoked on New Year's, either if it's by Esau or by his own people. So, I mean, we're just going to jump right into it, you know, just another satanic holiday that puts you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans under uh, witchcraft. Mm -hmm. You're going to be possessed, all right, because you make all these promises that you can't keep by the second, maybe even the first week, maybe four days. Jake could be like, man, forget all that, man. Forget all the New Year's resolutions now. Yeah. So, Lord willing, we can look up resolution. We can look up into... um. This, the, the guy who you're really worshiping on this day. So we're just going to start with Jeremiah 10 and 2. Okay. Uh, this is Jeremiah 10 and 2. Thus saith the Lord, learn not the way of the heathen, and be not dismayed at the signs of heaven, for the, for the heathen are dismayed at them. So it says, learn not the way of the heathen. What's the way of the heathen? You know, um, we're about to get into... This God that you're worshiping on January 1st goes back to Roman God. And we have nothing to do with being Roman, man. Mm -hmm. You know? And, you know, it says, uh, learn learn not the way of the heathen. Now, verse 3 through 5 is in the Christmas, which I just celebrated. You know? And um, <clears throat> you're going to fall into another holiday uh, the week the week shortly after. There's going to be a lot of drunkenness, uh, a lot of adultery, a lot of uh, f uh, fornication. A lot of witchcraft, a lot of drug use, because you niggas like to sip lean and get drunk and get high and think it's going to be the best year of your life. But, you know, according to these scriptures, thus said the Lord, Jacob's trouble is coming for you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. All right. All right. Rex 84, King Alfred plan. They're planning to put you Negroes in concentration camps. All right. Soon, sooner than later. They plan to put you Negroes in a concentration along with you so-called uh, Hispanics, because you Hispanics, man, you hate the so-called black man, all right? You think you better because you can speak Spanish, your ass gonna get thrown in a concentration camp, all mm -hmm. right? And you so-called Native Americans also, are you gonna get thrown in a concentration camp because you're gonna be the next homegrown terrorist sooner or later? And Lord willing, it's 2018 when Jacob's trouble comes, so, um... Uh, before you get your point, I just wanna add, and these is out here uh, listening to, uh, Dr. Th Thumar Johnson, yeah. they want to make the concentration camp comfortable. That's all you, That's all a nigga want is, is comfort. And what, what were we talking about before we started? Um, the post on Instagram with, yeah. um, love, you're going to love your big lady better in 2018. Yeah, I'm going to make, make it my business to treat my, treat my woman right. Yeah. You know, shit like that. That's, that's, that's way off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, something is at an all-time high with the so-called black man. All the way down to the so-called Mexican man, man. So, um, <clears throat> could you get that description in Exodus 23 right quick? Come. This is Exodus 23 and 13. And in all things that I have said unto you, be circumspect and make no mention of the name of other gods. Neither let it be heard of thy mouth. Yeah, so it's plain and simple for you people that say, I love the Lord. You got to follow what's in this book. And in Exodus 23 and 13, it says, don't make no mention of other gods. And you getting a hype about um, celebrating a Roman God, a Roman God, man. All right. You people caught up in um, folly. You know, you want to get drunk. You want to make all these uh, resolutions that you can't keep. Mm -hmm. You want to be heavily in a reveling. Um, the women, man, they want to be the, be the biggest sluts mm -hmm. during this time of year, man, because it's a new year. And I'm gonna get some 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 new stuff, man. Right. All right, man. And, and, and say the nigga want me, you know, this day season to try to get back in the gym. Yeah. Cause all year they fat ass been <laughs> fucking around. 
God damn. Uh, just fucking around, you know, not sticking to, to the diet that they once said that they was going to do better. Mm-hmm. You know, around this time last year. Mm-hmm. All right? That shit, like the brother said, lasts for a couple of days. Then you see the bitch on Instagram back at goddamn <laughs> at, uh, at damn Burger King in the goddamn Walker Jr. <laughs> All right? We got one right here. All right, go ahead. This is Romans 12 and 2. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of your howl. You break that down, man. John, and basically what you're saying is very simple. You know, be not conformed to this world. Don't do religion. You know, stop drinking, you know. Simple simple things. Stop worshiping these other gods, which is actually spiritual fornication. Mm-hmm. Pagan holidays that you're doing. You know, and um, the renewing of your mind. Once you get renewed, you know, neglect not the gift. Mm-hmm. Keep this word. Okay. But you guys will never get it because, uh, like the brother said, it's folly. Mm-hmm. You guys uh, are basically dead. Congre- congregation of the dead. Con, can a brother get um, uh, Proverbs 3 and 31? Because, you know, you got to think. Well, we keeping these traditions. You know, you know, you know, you Negroes believe that you're from Africa. Now we were in Africa after 70 AD. So keep think think about this. Like, what were you doing? All right, before you was brought over here, and the so-called white man told you about New Year's. What was you doing? You gotta think about stuff like that. But y'all y'all so caught up in America. You know, it, it's just too late, man. So you have Proverbs 3 and 31. John, this is Proverbs 3 and 31. He means thou not the oppressor and choose none of his ways. Yeah, choose none of his ways. You was brought over here in slave ships. All right, the so-called white man brought you over here, and now you want to celebrate his new year. It's not going to be new for you so-called Negroes. You're going to be in the debt. Can a brother get our Haggai 1 and 6? Because you like to go to church on New Year's. All right, we know you Negroes, man. We know you Negroes to a T. All right, you like to go to church on New Year's Eve eat collard greens and black eyed peas and think it's going to be a better year, but it's not. Are you going to be in more debt? All right. You're going to be paying more taxes out your check. Matter of fact, can we do that scripture? Haggai 1 and 6. Yeah, this is Haggai 1 and 6. Yea, ye have sown much and bring bring in little. <clears throat> ye eat, but ye have not enough. Ye drink, but ye are not filled with drink. Ye clothe ye Ye clothe you, but there is none warm. <clears throat> so like, and he that earneth wages, earneth wages to be put in a bag with holes. That's plain and simple. Bag full of holes, man. As soon as you get it, it goes right out the bag. Right. You know, and, and then you, you got to blame your Christian pastors, man. All right, because they're lying to you. They're not telling you about uh, Jacob's trouble. They're not telling you about prophecy. They're just going to be like, well, 2018 is going to be the best year ever. Mm-hmm. And then you're going to get some bald-headed Negro with some book coming out on one of these talk shows telling you Negroes to read his book. And after reading his book, it's going to be the best year you ever had. But it's going to be the same year full of debt. Mm-hmm. We're paying more taxes. Right. All right. Uh, Trump is going to be taking uh, eliminating food stamps soon, EBT, WIC. Mm-hmm. All right. So it ain't going to be the same uh, prosperous, prosperous year that you Negroes are in. You, you 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 buy you buy everything <clears throat> up, all right. Like like uh, dude said on um, <clears throat> baby boy guns and butter. Mm-hmm. All right, you niggas spending on butter, man. Right. Uh, cars, mm-hmm. clothes, yep. hose, yep. lean weed, and, and Ch- Jordans. Yeah. All right, it's not it's gonna be the same old year for you Negroes, man. Right. All right. Here it is. We supposed to be the minority minority, but we are the biggest consumers. We always, you know, want to be, you know, in the forefront with the latest shit. Mm-hmm. That's why this year, I believe, uh, this this was one of the biggest years for retail sales in a minute yeah, uh, right. on the holidays. Yeah, you're right. yeah, so that goes to show you uh, that, that that niggas are all in on these holidays still. Mm-hmm. You got some that know what's going on, mm-hmm. but then you got uh, the majority. They're still in sleep, celebrating mm-hmm. this bullshit, yeah. going out, spending their money, 
uh, late on January's rent because they done spent all their fucking money in December. Yeah, man. Dumbass. For real, for one day, now, now you got to call around asking your family members and shit to hold some money for the lights. Now, they was broke on Christmas. Mm -hmm. Now they trying to go out because they want to be seen, man. They want to go out and then they got to spend money on the first. Yeah, right. And go out and, you know, watch the peach drop, whatever they mm -hmm. do now. They, yeah, yeah. I, I think they closed that down, man. Oh, yeah. They, I think they, uh, when we was down there, I think they, uh, I think they sold underground, man. So they, they gonna totally redo it up, man. That's good. That's yeah. good for you niggas, that's man. That's good news. Cause that's a nigga haven down there, man. A bunch uh -huh. of fucking niggas down there. A bunch of goddamn zombies, man. Mm -hmm. So hopefully they, they turn into something nice and put a Starbucks in there. Cause you niggas tear up everything, man. <laughs> but, um, shit too. yeah, another thing, man. It's gonna be more ra racial, uh, uh, shootings. Can a brother get Zachariah 11, 4, and 5? Because you Negroes forget about, you know, you're in this holiday season, man. You're under this demon of uh, uh, good tidings and cheerings and Happy New Year and, and New Year's resolutions. Mm -hmm. But you forgot about Alton Sterling, Philando Castile, mm -hmm. all these Negroes that get gunned down. And it's going to take something. It's going to take this so-called white man to do something to wake y'all up, man. Because, you know, a nigga get gunned down when niggas get gunned down, they, niggas die every day, B. <laughs> niggas die every day. If you go to uh, killedbypolice.net, it's about 1,200 people that got killed this year by the police. And it's a large majority of you uh, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. <laughs> so, you know, it, it's not going to be the same old. It's not going to be a year of prosperity. It's going to get worse. It's going to lead up into Jacob's trouble. So it's, it's going to be more racially involved shootings. All right, these crackers getting off. It tells you that in the Bible. This is what your pastor going to tell you, man. So, mm -hmm. brother, can you get that Zechariah 11? John, this is Zechariah 11 and 4. Thus says the Lord, my power, feed the flock of the slaughter, whose possessors slay them, and hold themselves not guilty. And they that sell them say, Blessed be the Lord, for I am rich, and their own shepherds pity them not. So, the scriptures tell you what's going to be. All right, Jay going to get gunned down, you know what I'm saying? And then they're going to have, let's trust in the legal process. Man, what? Yeah, the legal process don't work. Then he get off. Then y'all going to tear the city down like some goddamn savages. Yeah, they own community. Yeah. They going to fuck up their own They going to fuck shit. up their own community. You ain't going to go to a nice community and tear it up. Mm -hmm. All right, because you love your slave master, man. All right? John, now also, um, so it's in Revelation, too, what these devils do. Mm -hmm. like, I'm going to bring this up real quick just to add on, you know, a little precept. This is um Revelations 2 and I'm going to go to verse 10. Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison that ye may be tried and ye have tribulation 10 days. When it said 10 days, that's just a complete number. Because yeah. we are going through tribulation, even the man of the Lord. But thou faith, it's like it, but Thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life. So it just tells you right there, plain in sight, the devil shall cast some of you in some prison. Mm -hmm. What's going on to you, so called um, Negro, Latinos, and Native Americans today? Mm -hmm. I've been cast into prison. Yeah. You've been trodden in, the, in these streets. Matter of fact, um, since you brought that up, that's all to be talking about, you know, um, you know, Jacob's trouble. But I mean, it is telling you, the devil shall cast you into prison, man. God, not your best friend. That's your girlfriend, your husband, the devil, yeah, the more, deceiver. And more you niggas gonna be in the industrial prison complex this year, man. More niggas going to jail. God. You know what I'm saying? But you know, it's it's gonna be the scripture says your own pit, shepherds to pity or not. They're gonna put some guy out here to, to calm you Negroes down, and there's gonna be another distraction out here, and then you're gonna get caught up until another one happens, man. You know, it's just it's just the same old thing with uh with Jake out here, man. So um we just want to um, get into this, uh, let me see this. Uh, this fake holiday. Yeah, this fake holiday about Janice. All right, it says, um, this is from crystallinks.com, so you can check this out. It says Janice, it says, in ancient Roman religion and mythology, Janice is the god of beginnings and transitions. This also of gates, doors, doorways, endings, and, a, and time. He is usually a two-faced guy since he looks to the future and the past. And that's what people do. They like to um, look towards 
Um, the future while still looking at the past. Well, you know, 2008 going to be better than 2017, man. Mm-hmm. I ain't got time for that negativity in 2017, man. I remember I was messing with this girl, man. I was messing, you know, such and such. They was doing all this negative stuff. So as they move forward, they're still looking at the following year. Mm-hmm. It says the Romans dedicated the month of January to Janus. His most apparent remnant in modern culture is his namesake, the month of January. And that's where you get the month of January from, man. This whole society is based off all the other uh, ancient um, uh, civilizations like Rome. Because that's where they get it from. Right. You know, like your calendar. It was a point in that I wanted to make a point on about, did it say uh, beginnings and transitions? Yeah, I read it again. Mm-hmm. Okay. It says in ancient Roman religion and mythology, Janus is the god of beginnings and transitions. Right. And that's what you niggas are doing, getting ready to transition into a new year. Um, and you looking back on all the bullshit you did in 2017 mm-hmm. and saying that you want to progress or make it better in this new up and coming year. Mm-hmm. And which we all know is not going to happen. Because yeah. niggas talk a good game. <laughs> yeah, when yeah. it comes down to action, uh-huh. they ain't going to do shit, mm-hmm. man. And it says that in the scriptures, too. Um, they think that their um, house is going to continue forever and ever. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he talking about let's get that. Talking about Esau. That also applies to Jake, too. Because Jake, you know, Jake, man, it's like Esau knows his place is going down, man. Esau and his spirit knows. And his country is failing him, man. That's why you don't see these proud Trump supporters like you did when he first got elected. Mm-hmm. All right, but is they... Man, um, no, it's uh, Psalms 49 11. No. But Jake is so... But Esau is so... America is so far to Jake that Jake is celebrating January 1st. Mm-hmm. Celebrating uh, July 4th. You know, <clears> celebrating <throat> uh, Halloween, Thanksgiving, Christmas, and New Year. Uh-huh. So, he, uh, yeah, get that scripture up. Now, this is um, Psalms 49 and 11. The inward thought is that their houses shall continue forever and their dwelling p- places to all generations. They call their lands after their own names. And it's right there in um, plain sight. This is what you two third niggas out there doing. Mm-hmm. Here it is coming a, a so called new year. Mm-hmm. And oh, I'm going to treat my woman better. <laughs> I'm going to do this better. I'm gonna get more money, thick ass money. Drugs, you know, you you thinking this this place is gonna go forever and ever, mm-hmm. and for you heathens too. But no, you know the Lord's gonna come back and and put you heathens to, into slavery, and you niggas are just gonna die. God, hey, you remember that last week when um when I camp last week when that nigga woman walked by said America's gonna be destroyed by fire. Yeah, hey, Jake don't think this place is gonna be destroyed. Jake yeah, is gonna man. get to find another job. I got, that's that's the main goal for a nigga to get a better job so he can waste more money. But you don't, Jake don't really think that the corner prophecies that this place is going down. Man. Yeah, Jake being the spirit of shit, I believe it when I see it. Yeah, by then it's too yeah. late. Yeah, Jake, you, Jake you need a sign, it. man. You gonna see the missiles? Yeah, Jake need a sign. That's gonna be the missiles for your ass, man. So let's let's continue with this. It says uh, it says he is usually a two faced god since he looks to the future and the past. The Romans dedicated the month of January to Janus. So you're coming up under a vibration of a different god. From the jump, man. His most apparent remnant in modern culture is his namesake, the month of January. Though he was usually depicted with two faces looking in opposite directions, Janus, Geminus, Gemin, twin Janus, or Bifrons, in some place he was Janus, Quadrifrons, the foreface. The Romans associated Janus with the Etruscan deity Anai. So we just, we just gonna cut on that. It's just. You know, you just, uh, well, let's continue on. It says, Janus was frequently used to symbolize change and transition, such as the progression of past to future. Yeah. And, you know, y'all want to y'all wanna say something? Go ahead. I actually, you know, said it already. they trying to do better than what they did last year. Mm-hmm. Uh, it was just a transition. Uh, go ahead. It says, of one condition to another, of one vision to another, and of one universe to another. And what that sound like? A New Year's resolution. Yeah, basically. Right. Yeah. yeah. That's all that's saying yeah. in a nutshell. A New Year's resolution. Yeah, you're right about that. Yeah. It says, hence Janus was worshipped at the beginning of the harvest and planting times, as well as marriages, births, and other beginnings. He was representative of the middle ground between barbarity and civilization. 
rural country and urban cities and youth in adulthood. So I mean, there that's that's <clears throat> ultimately what you're celebrating, you know. So um, anybody's got any precepts? Yeah, I'm gonna uh, bring out First John. This is uh, I always bring this out because mm-hmm. you know the script the scripture says what it says. Through the scriptures, the Lord is speaking. And you know, it, uh, this is St. John's 2 and 15. He said, love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. Mm-hmm. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. Right. So don't be conforming, like, like I said in Romans, and stop loving the world. Right. This world, the world of Babylon, mm-hmm. under Esau's rulership. The ways, the, uh, learn not the ways of the heathen. The scripture is basically saying, don't do any anything that the heathens are doing and love not the world. Mm-hmm. But you two-third niggas are still doing it. And this is why you're still going to get the same judgment, ten times worse. Yeah, even worse. Cool. Like Sodom and Gomorrah. I'm back up your point. God. This is uh, Colossians 3 and 2. Set your, affections up. Set your affections on things above, not on the things on the earth. God. It's basically going into what the brother was saying. Mm-hmm. Um, you, you, in this day and time, you know, as many signs as we're getting, you know, as far as the signs in the heavens, prophecies mm-hmm. being fulfilled, you should be trying to, you know, seek out your salvation, which uh-huh. is setting your affections on things above. You shouldn't be worried about all this bullshit that's going on down here on this earth, man, because it, it, it's not going to be rewarded. You know, here it is. This place is about to be destroyed by uh, missiles. But you still want to partake in this society and just put your all into it, man. Jake yeah. put all the eggs in one basket. Yeah. Uh, let the grocery store close for a day. <laughs> man, yeah. these folks lose their fucking mm-hmm. mind out here. Yeah. So imagine how, how y'all going to be acting when, when that day of Jacob's trouble comes. Mm-hmm. It's going to be total chaos. Go ahead. I got a precept. Um, this is Acts 2 and uh, 19. It says... And I will show wonders in heaven above and signs in the earth beneath blood and fire and vapor of smoke. The sun shall be turned into darkness and the moon into blood before the great and honorable day of the Lord. So like the brother said, he was speaking about the moon. I think uh, next year uh, it's going to be a wolf moon. You know, and it's, the, the Lord is showing all types of signs. He started with a um, what was it, the solar eclipse. Yeah, the solar oh. eclipse. It seems like the moon, you can just grab it with your hand now. Mm-hmm. It's just so big and so illuminated, illuminated out there. It's, got to, it's showing you people signs uh, of what's to come. The Lord is coming soon. And you can read, you know, Matthew 24, uh, Luke 21, Mark chapter 13 about the signs before uh, Yahweh's child, who you eagerly call Jesus Christ, comes back. So this ain't going to be no uh, year of prosperity and, and Finding boo and whatnot. Mm-hmm. It's the time for America to soon. All these signs pointing to Yahweh coming back and America be destroyed. Um, could a brother get a Jeremiah thirty-seven? Because when we in that time, you know. And, um, can I just add something to that? Yeah. I feel like the New Year is coming up, and these are not going to be good times either. It's going to be evil times, and and it's, and it's all from the Heavenly Father through His Son Yahweh Shah. This is um, Isaiah 45 and 7. I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I, the Lord, do all these things. So not only he giving us signs, but this is the time mm-hmm. he's going to start jacking you two-third niggas up. Yeah, because it's, it's, not, it's not Satan. Satan is just an employee of the Most High. It's mm-hmm. ultimately brought forth from Yahweh, who you call God. All right, I mean, That's another doctrine that Christianity likes to twist up. God. Thinking Satan just got the Most High tied up behind his back, and he's mm-hmm. just like I'm, he's just just this wicked rebellious guy who's all over the place. Yeah. Nah, man, a nigga that fell out of heaven. Yeah, a nigga that fell out of heaven, man. This <laughs> <laughs> wacky. Yeah, wacky. Another year for y'all to just lose your use your head, uh, lose your head, and we pray and put curses on you Christians, man. That you just totally bug out this year, man. Mm-hmm. Like you just your head will just you'll get so mad. That your head will just burst, man. Because mm-hmm. so many precepts being thrown at you, you can't handle it. All you can do is say, read it again. Read it again. Right. What does it say only? Yeah. Shit like that. Read it in context. Yeah. Man, man. Get the fuck out of here. Come on. 
<laughs> uh, Jeremiah 30 and 7. Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble. But he shall be saved out of it. Keep going. Huh? All right. He said be saved out of it is the elect, the remnant that the Most High is saving, which consists of you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. When it's Jacob trouble, what Christians call the Great Tribulation. All right. So if you don't already know, look up Rex 84, man. All right. This is something that was planned back in the day that they're still going to plan. And they're going to use FEMA to put you in the concentration camps. Like I said, you know, all these events are leading up to Jacob's trouble. Well, not like I said, like the scriptures say, all these events are leading up to Jacob's trouble. And uh, they're going to put people in concentration camps, namely you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, because uh, you're the next uh, terrorist uh, threat now, man. And they're going to come after the men of the Lord, too. You know, it's not going to be Habib from so-called... Uh, Lebanon or Syria or Jordan over there, man. Uh, it's gonna be they're gonna put the blame. This devil is gonna put the blame on you, uh, uh, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. It's gonna be uh, mass uh, summary execution in the street. Uh, you can name it. All no holds barred out here. Women, you women are proud now. You are probably getting your gear ready for the uh, uh, New Year's. All right, mm -hmm. but. The scriptures say, rise up, you women that are ease, you know. So we in that time where, you know, two-thirds of y'all are going to be thrown into a concentration camp not knowing what's going on. Cannibalism. Yeah, cannibal. Good point. Uh, cannibalism. Great famine's about to come. Yeah. Not only with the word, but the actual, you know, food supply. Mm -hmm. This is um, Zephaniah 1 and 15. That day is a day of wrath, a day of trouble and distress, mm -hmm. a day of wasteness. And desolation, a day of darkness and gloominess, a day of clouds and thick darkness. Mm -hmm. So that don't sound good right there. So while you're getting ready for your for your little New Year's, you know, doing things for your woman, the man of the Lord is going to be ready and prepare ourselves through your shop mm -hmm. for the, for this very day. Cause we still got work to do. Can I probably get a uh, Isaiah 34 and 16? Yeah, cause we're not we're not preparing for. You know, we got to do our daily routine, man. You know, we got to do what we got to do to make it in Babylon. We're not, we're not hoping on a prosperous year or, you know, we're not, we're not hoping on uh, 2018 being the best year ever. We, we measure by uh, the scriptures like uh, 2nd Exodus 9 and 1 says, you know, measuring the times, measuring these prophecies, relating it to news clips, going on YouTube and looking up things that people, ordinary people don't look up. And then filtering it, putting together with the scriptures, you know. So, you know, um, yeah. um, this is um, you said Isaiah 30, um, 34 and 17? Uh, 34 and 16, I believe. 16? God. Verse 16. Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. No one of these shall fail, none shall want their. Her mate is like you. For my mouth it have commanded it, and his spirit it have gathered them. Yeah, that's that's how we we're gonna have what we gotta seek you out the a book of the Lord and read. We gotta read these yeah. instructions for you, you know, you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. It's given to God as to what we can look for and how we're supposed to respond, you know, during Jacob's trouble. You know, we already know from the scriptures on what to do and what not to do. We're practicing that now. We're, we're staying away from niggas. You know, uh -huh. we're not we're not dealing with niggas no more, man. I got tired. You know, this, the, the whole sub, the whole subject we're talking about. Uh, you got a nigga. We probably got niggas on our phones from the world that's calling us like, "What y'all doing for New Year's, man?" And, happy well, New Year's. Yeah, Happy New Year's, man. Ain't gonna be no Happy New Year's, man. Niggas go through the same thing, and that's why we're conditioning ourselves to see the worst. Pair ourselves and, and the spirit by, by reading these scriptures. And um, just to add on to that, this is on um, Hebrews 10 and 7. Then said I, Lo, I come in the volume of a book, it is written of me to do thy will, O Yahweh, the Most High. This is, this is just him speaking to his men, which is the elect. That's why we gotta read these scriptures. Yeah, we gotta read it from uh, 
the so-called Old Testament to the Apocrypha to the New Testament because some cats like to cut out the New Testament and that you're missing out a lot of information that's going to save your life. Well, you're not going to be saved anyway because you don't believe in the Messiah. Uh -huh. two thousand. It's going to be coming up in 2018 and you still believe in there ain't no Messiah for you Old Testament niggas. All right, that's, that's pathetic, man. All right, that doctrine is watered down and it's only going to lead you to the house shot coming back and slicing your head off, man. But he going to show you, man. You know, um, you get that Proverbs? Five and seven. I think it's uh, 4 and 14. 4 and 14? Yeah. This is Proverbs 4 and 14. Enter not into the path of the wicked, and go not in the way of the evil men. Of evil men. Avoid it, pass not by it. Turn from it, and pass away. <clears throat> for for they sleep not except they have done mischief and their sleep is taken away unless they cause some to fall for they eat the bread of the wickedness and drink the wine of the violence but the path of the just is as the shining light that sin of more and more until the perfect day the way of the wicked is as dark the way of the wicked is as darkness. They know not at what they stumble. My son, attend to my words. Incline thine ear unto my sayings. Let them not depart from thy eyes. Keep them in the, mid the midst of thy heart. For they are life unto those that find them. And health to all their flesh. Keep thy heart with all diligence. For out of it are the issue, are the issues of life. Put away from thee a forward mouth, and perverse lips. Put far from thee. Let thy eyes look right on, and let thy eyelids look straight before thee. Ponder the path of thy feet, and let all thy ways be established. Turn not to the right hand nor to the left. Remove thy foot from evil. And that's man, we just gonna close it on that. Man. You know, because you should be seeking righteousness in 2018 because that grace period is slowly closing, man. It's slowly closing. All you guys out there just like to be keyboard warriors, man. Get up off your ass, man, and, and come down to the camp and start listening, man. Be involved. Do something for this word, man. Add on to it. Add on yeah. So, you know, it, brothers got any more precepts? Yeah. Alright, yeah, we just gonna close on that, you know. Lord willing, that lesson was edifying. You know, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man, 2018, man, you need to get right, man. That's right. And uh, you need to follow the sound doctrine, man. This ain't the time. This is the time to be a man of the Lord, be a prophet, be a true Hebrew Israelite, Hebrew Israelite, not a Hebrew niggerlite, you know, because a lot of you guys like to take this doctrine and remix it for your own niggers' ways. Right. It's time to uh, follow this doctrine, to follow men that's, that's um, ahead of you. Starting with Elder uh, Apostle Tahar on down. All right, Fox, staying in order. Because we we in some serious times. It ain't going to be where we can just come to the house and do a lesson and go to the liquor store, get a bite to eat. You know, we come in some times where we might not eat like one or two days. You know, we we going to have to totally trust in the Lord. So that's, you know, like, like I said, Lord one is edifying. You know, once again, we want to give all praises to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Kal Halon, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Ha Rakal Kadash, and I, we want to say uh, blessings and peace to those brothers out there. Well, first of all, we want to give double honors to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone, uh -huh. and salutations to you, Akim out there that's pushing the truth and true sincerity. Shalom. Shalom.